Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And guys, I promise we're going to do this next one from Victory. This is their Sour Monkey. And I don't think I've done this one, guys. I may be wrong. Uh, I remember doing a berry sour fruited ale, but I don't think it was the same. This is not a berry version. Uh, it says Sour Triple, 9.5%. And again, they probably got it stamped out. If you know where to look now, I do. It's been a while since I had one of these in my hands. And I'm probably going to make the statement right now. This may be the last 12-ounce beer you'll see in my hands. I don't think I'm going to buy any more 12-ounce cans or 12-ounce bottles anymore. Uh, I'm going to spend mine on 16-ounce cans probably. Uh, unless somebody sends me something in a 12-ounce can or a 12-ounce bottle, I'm probably not going to spend my money on 12 ounce packages anymore. So, this is it probably. Uh, and on the date, it says Best Buy May, <laughs> May 22nd, 2025. What's the shelf life on that beer? Pretty close to two years. And again, it's not a, a hoppy beer, and it is a triple, nine and a half percent. So, it's a lot like a barley wine or a stout or, uh, or anything that would sell her with the ABV 9.5% decent. It ain't like it's 12 or 15%, but 9.5% and not being hoppy. And let's look at it. Uh, this one actually has a digitized black code over here. It says 11 0 Two, two, three. Ha ha! You know what that is? And it's got some other numbers there uh, after that. Uh, two, three, three, four, B, one, six, one, seven. That's probably a time. So, guys, this one, I can decipher this. Uh, so, uh, it says 110223. If I'm guessing there, it's not November 2nd yet, so. This was probably brewed or put in the bottle on February the 11th of 2023. So it's already, here it is, October. It's already been in the bottle since February. And they're giving it to May, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to decipher that digitized code as to what they're giving us. So they're, they're giving it a pretty good shelf life for a 9.5% sour beer, sour triple. So, if this ain't too sweet, it's, it's probably going to be a little tastier than, than what we had yesterday. Uh, and depending on where your palate is, guys, I always tell you guys this, I mean, if I don't like it, it don't mean you're you're not going to like it. You may absolutely love it, especially if your palate is at a different stage. You're just getting into the craft beers or or whatever. I, I like this more than he does. This guy drinks a lot of IPA. Yes, I do. Uh, or, or whatever. I like more darker beers. I, my cup of tea might not be your cup of tea, so don't rule out anything that I say I preferably don't like. So, uh at least pick one up, give it a try. And if you don't like it, don't buy no more. Bottom sign. That's it. All right. Let's jump over to this. All right. Uh, again, these guys are in Pennsylvania. Fruity notes from imported Belgian yeast swirl through a precise souring. Pucker up. Pucker up to a bite of citrus laden tang ending with delectable. A delectable. That's easy for me to say. Delectable experience, I said. All right, 
The pictures here, guys, are showing a dog, and a, there's a beer with a bottle in the front of it, and then there's another can like this, and then another can. And I, from what I can see, there ain't a lot of pictures of the glass that are kind of in behind. It looks like a typical sour. A nice amber, slight cloudiness, not hazy. Uh, so, let's find out what this one's about. I've rambled on long enough, probably five minutes here on this one, but like I said, wanted to cover everything, and again, who knows the next time I'll ever use that again. All right. Oh, don't drop that fool. All right, into the glass we go. And just for in giggles, I wasn't going to say that, but. We got it all here. Again, like I said, guys, first time I had Golden Monkey, it, it, it put me down in the dirt almost. About uh, a finger, and I'm. There ain't many craft beers that I recall having that effect to me because I don't drink a lot of the same thing anymore. But working that festival and pouring that beer and got to sample it repeatedly over a, a couple of hours. It took its toll. Finger ahead, again, looks very nice in the glass. Uh, not cloudy, not hazy. Very typical of what this style of beer looks like. We shall see what the nose and taste brings. Hmm? Here the nose for you. Nice sour smell. I'm getting a little bit of funkiness there. I don't know what kind of yeast they're using, a Belgian yeast, I think that's what it said, imported Belgian yeast. Nice biscuity, crackery notes there, but it is a sour. I don't want to say it's a farmhouse funky enough, like I say some, but yeah. Smells typical for what a sour. I mean, if you've never smelt a sour, and that may be a little intriguing, a little breadiness there even. Smells good. It has a more appealing <laughs> aroma than yesterday, so let's find out. Dive in. Cheers! Decent. That's, that's decent. That's better. That fits my palate more than yesterday. I'll probably end up drinking the rest of those. She can have the other one. I'll, I'll, I'll keep this. This is better. This is better. And I'm not, I'm not a big sour guy. I don't buy a lot of sours. I don't buy any sours, as a matter of fact. But that's good. That's good. That's a, that's a, that's a decent beer. I don't think it's into the A category, but I'm not a sour beer con connoisseur kind of guy. And to me, that's a good change-up beer. That's not something I gotta have another one of them tomorrow, or another one of them the next day, or another one of them. And with the shelf life, uh, you're gonna get from something like this. The other ones can set it now. I can have another one a month from now, two months from now, six months from now. I mean, there's no rush to to to, to drink this uh, in a hurry. Uh, the, the hops are not going to fade or do anything crazy. So they're giving it a long shelf life. You got plenty of opportunity to even sell it if you wanted to uh, take it out to this day. This is their recommendation. If it's going to keep this long, this beer is going to keep 20 years, guys. No doubt. Uh, so, I mean, you could actually uh, put it away a lot longer. They just want you to have it uh, by them. And as long as it's got that date on there, you could still buy it. Well, it's still got that date on it, best buy, so that doesn't mean you have to drink it by then. I don't think there's anything in here that's going to fade. It might even get better. So, let's go sip on it and find out. It's only 12 ounces. It's going to take me a couple minutes. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Nice lace. Think it's left on the glass. This is a little bit better. It's not outstanding to me. I don't think it gets to the A category, but I think it's a decent representation of what a sour beer, a triple, nine and a half percent, would taste like. Decent. I don't think it's got to the A category, guy. And I probably would have felt a little different about this if I hadn't had so many other Belgian ales. 
uh, not quite sours, and that is an acquired taste, just like hoppy beers is. So uh, a lot of people love those beers, and a lot of people not so much. So uh, it is an acquired taste, just like darker beers are, guys. So depends on where your palate is, and what you're seeking, what you're after, and what you like to drink. If you're like me, I like to experiment, and I have experimented quite a bit over the years. I don't want to say just the craft beer years, because I drank a lot of imported beers before I got into craft beers. Uh, there was a bar uh, that we used to frequent uh, before I started uh, getting into craft beer. This was Guys, this has been a long time ago when we were drinking stuff coming from overseas. We were drinking the imported stuff, nothing that was made here. Uh, uh, I don't want to say Heineken, but there was a whole lot of beers, uh, uh, Killians, and, and so many others that I tried uh, before I got into craft beer. So uh, I was, you know, I was a firm Budweiser drinker at that time, but I did like to taste different stuff. And that's what led me into where I am today, evidently, guys. So, that being said, get back to this beer. Decent. Final show. That's decent. For 9.5%, not too super expensive, six-pack I don't like the 12 out. I just as soon have 416 as 612. That's just me, though. That's just me. I've, uh, I, I like that full glass of beer when I'm, especially if I get a good one or something that I like, as opposed to 12 ounce, barely over a half a glass of beer. I, if I only have two, I want two 16s, not two 12s. Uh huh. I said. All right, guys. B plus. 88 on this one for me. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 89. I'm oh, close. And over to Untyped, they have it at 3.8. Again, close. We're all pretty close right there. Uh, 3.8, 3.9. Unanimous, pretty much. B plus beer. If you've had the Sour Monkey from Victory Brewing, let me know what you think. It's tasty, it's worthy. Uh, like I said, I got a few more, and I'll probably sip on those over the next couple of months. Not something I'm going to have tomorrow. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. Don't know when that's going to be. Let's go see what's in the fridge.